From July the 7th to the 15th, the Friars Minor of the Custody of the Holy Land met at the Convent of St. Saviour in Jerusalem for the Intermediate Chapter 2019. They discussed the themes of the holy places in the region of St. Paul, Lebanon, Jordan and Syria. On July the 15th, 1149, the Church and the Altar of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem were consecrated. The Church dates back to the Crusade period and still welcomes millions of faithful from all over the world. Every year on the same day, a celebration commemorates this event. The Carmelite Order venerates Our Lady of Mount Carmel in Haifa, a story of devotion and the meaning of the scapula. For the first time, the convention between the custody of the Holy Land and the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem was signed for the entrustment of the 12 parishes between Palestine, Israel and Cyprus that are under the care of the Franciscans. More than 200 children from Jerusalem, Bethlehem and Beit Hanina were the protagonists of a summer camp led by the young people of the Italian association Dance Lab Armonia where dance and art become tools to overcome divisions. From July the 7th to the 15th, the Friars Minor of the Custody of the Holy Land met at the Convent of St. Saviour in Jerusalem for the Intermediate Chapter 2019. The chapter was also celebrated on the occasion of the 8th centenary of the visit of St. Francis to the Holy Land and his meeting with the Sultan in Damietta in 1219. Long days of work followed moments of celebration and fraternal coexistence. The chapter was attended by 42 friars present in Israel, Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt, Cyprus and Rhodes, Washington, Buenos Aires and Italy. In the first days, the situation of the custody of the Holy Land in the past three years is analysed, in particular through the first report of the Custers, the main reports that follow concern economics, formation and studies, and the commission of the Holy Places. The care of Holy Places is one of the themes that the friars are most concerned about. Il tema è stato trattato attraverso uno studio che è stato fatto prima del capitolo da un'apposita commissione e poi presentato. The theme was dealt with through a study that was carried out before the chapter by a special commission and then presented at the chapter. The main issue is that the shrines are part of a vocation, of our mission. We are here as custodians of the holy places, precisely to make the holy places alive, accessible, first of all to ourselves and then to the millions of pilgrims who come here during the year ai tanti, ai milioni di pellegrini che qui vengono nel corso di questi anni. The presence of the friars from the region of St. Paul was also a sign of union with all the friars living in Syria, Lebanon and Jordan. They have given and continue to give a courageous evangelical witness in an environment that still bears the wounds of war and hatred. È stato un tema, come dire, significativo, caldo, the region of St. Paul has been a significant and pressing theme. It is always important for the custody to feel this part of its territory as a part of itself. And then we felt the need that this region has to work to bring a spirit of reconciliation, of reconstruction of the social and ecclesial fabric. del tessuto sociale del tessuto ecclesiale. Noi siamo disponibili. We are available. The most beautiful answer a man can give is the availability of the heart. It is saying, Lord, here I am. We do not boast. We consider ourselves useless servants. We do not do more than we have to do. Actually, I feel that the least we are given is to be the fathers and mothers of a community, to be close to the most vulnerable and suffering, to be sent to the existential furthest reaches of the world. Today, this is nothing more than the Middle East. It is nothing more than Aleppo. We are a part of the custody of the Holy Land. The chapter gave it a very strong attention because, as we all know, there are problems. There is also the conflict in Syria and everything that unfortunately it generates in the nearby countries, in Lebanon and in Jordan. During the chapter, there was also an important moment in the life of the custody, the election of the new government, the discretes who make up the discretorium, 
brothers elected according to different language groups. A special and unique grace, we read in the concluding message of the custodial chapter, was the possibility of praying twice in the upper room of the cynical of Mount Zion. We appreciated the profound meaning of these moments with a sense of joy and gratitude to the Lord for giving us the grace to pray in the place of our origins. The presence of the Apostolic Administrator, Monsignor Pier Battista Pizzaballa, and the Nuncio and Apostolic Delegate, Monsignor Leopoldo Girelli, was very important. They celebrated the Eucharist and strengthened the bonds of the custody with the Mother Church of Jerusalem and with the Universal Church. The capitular works were suspended in order to continue the secular practice of the Way of the Cross in the streets of Jerusalem, a devotion that takes place every Friday of the year. On Sunday, there were also moments of fraternity for the capitulars, such as the community celebration of the Jubilee of Consecrated Life and Priesthood, the participation in the show organized by the schools of the Holy Land in Jerusalem, and the inauguration of the new premises of the Christian Information Center. The center houses the new museum complex that will allow pilgrims to prepare for the visit of the Holy Sepulchre. There were also moments of sharing and breaks for ice cream. On Monday, July the 15th, the Capitulars gathered for the final Mass on the solemnity of the dedication of the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre. Before officially declaring the end of the chapter, the Father Custers invited the Friars to make a gesture of devotion to the Word. The Word was in the middle of the chapter hall for the entire duration of the work, while they were receiving the final document that they will bring to their brotherhoods. It was a day full of emotions for everyone. The Gospel is our vocation, to kiss the Gospel is to kiss Jesus Christ. Every Christian should kiss the Gospel, kiss Jesus Christ with great passion, knowing that Jesus gave his life in a personal way for each of us, and therefore this gesture embodies the meaning of our vocation. It is a vocation to love, it is a vocation to the fullness of love. The fullness of love is to give our lives for the love of someone. The history of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem is long and complex. It also includes the about 800 years between the first consecration of the Constantinian Basilica and that of the altar and the building that still welcomes millions of faithful from all over the world after a series of destructions and reconstructions. The consecration or dedication of the church, which took place during the Crusade period on the 15th of July 1149, is remembered every year on the same day with a celebration. The Custers of the Holy Land, Brother Francesco Patton, wanted to underline the mission carried out since 1333 by the Franciscan friars in this place, with the words Custodire, che vuol dire essere, eh, To guard, which means to be able to keep this place alive, to make it continue to be the place where the resurrection of Jesus Christ was announced. Dove viene annunciata la risurrezione di Gesù Cristo. Then, recalling that some friars live in the convent connected to the basilica. Dimorare in questo luogo, che è un privilegio e una grazia straordinaria. To reside, which is an extraordinary privilege and grace. And then celebrate, which means giving praise to God for what he has done here. And make sure that all those who enter this church can join his choir, this symphony of praise. In qualche modo unirsi a questo coro, a questa sinfonia di lode. Io lo che quiero insistir es gracias a esa tradición. It is thanks to this tradition, to the love of the Franciscan friars for the Holy Sepulchre, that this has been preserved. Undoubtedly, this is the heart of the Christian world. It is the most important place for Christians. The ascent to Mount Carmel, where the prophet Elijah was, leads to the encounter with God and contemplation of his creation. In the upper part of the mountain, there is the monastery and the annexed basilica dedicated to Our Lady of Carmel. And in this place, there is a large statue of the Virgin Mary holding a scapular in her hands. The general delegate of the Order of Discalt Carmelites in Israel, Father Gisleri, 
spoke to us about the history of Carmelite devotion to the Virgin Mary. I fratelli della Beata Vergine Maria del Monte Carmelo, così si chiamavano i primi religiosi qua che si erano stabiliti a The first religious who settled here at Wasi Essia are called the Brothers of the Blessed Virgin of Mount Carmel and were driven away. Some of them went to France, others to England. In England, the well-established legend tells how St. Simon Stock had a vision. These were difficult times for the order because according to the council, no other orders could be founded. There were already Franciscans and Dominicans. Therefore, the gift of the scapula put these monks who came from a contemplative life in relation to the life of the people. And in a few years, they too have become other mendicant orders, that is, at the service of the people. And the scapula was, like the rosary, a way of honoring the Virgin Mary and a way for the people. E lo scapolare, come il rosario, era uno, un mezzo per poter onorare la Vergine Maria in mezzo alla gente. Our Lady of Carmel is also known as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. The devotion propagated by the Carmelite order is celebrated on July the 16th, the day in which St. Simon's stock had the vision of the Virgin Mary. This gift of the Holy Scapula from Our Lady is placed in 1251. This is a sign of devotion from the faithful and a sign of protection from Our Lady. By honouring the Virgin of Carmel and carrying the scapula, we also know that we are Our Lady's children and that we are protected by her. Dimostriamo di essere anche noi figli della Madonna e protetti da lei. Some pilgrims come only to contemplate the beauty of the place. We are here at the beautiful Stella Maris Monastery, which is a beautiful place on the mountains of Haifa, and um, it's a really quiet place with beautiful pictures inside depicting important scenes from the Bible. Others come to thank or ask for a particular blessing. I'm come to, to here in Stella Maris, this is uh, in Haifa, okay, in Israel. I come to here for my, I want to be, uh, for myself, especially I uh, have an uh, illness. I'm suffering from cancer, okay, breast cancer, okay, yes. My petition here is to, to, to ask for healing. That in, uh, to, to continue blessing me for, uh, to be, have uh, strength. Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Pray for us. Our journey started at least 170 years ago when the Latin Patriarchate was recomposed, and this is an act of mutual trust. On a journey together for the benefit of the local Christian population of the Holy Land, this is one of the reasons that pushed the custody of the Holy Land and the Latin Patriarchate to sign the first agreement for the entrustment of parishes that are under the care of the Franciscans. In realtà, non cambia nulla. È semplicemente un ratificare. It doesn't really change anything. It is simply a matter of confirming what for centuries has been reality in the life of this church. Some parishes, important parishes, Almost all those linked to the holy places have been entrusted from ancient times, from the beginning, from the foundation to the present day, to the custody of the Holy Land. We wanted to formally confirm, as provided for by canon law, what is a reality that has always been part of the life of the Church. An important step that saw 12 parishes across Israel, Palestine and Cyprus being regulated. These parishes were born from the Franciscan presence in the Holy Land, but from a pastoral point of view, at the responsibility of the local bishop. It is good at some point to regulate mutual relationships. We know that life nowadays is much more complex than it was in the past, even from a pastoral point of view, which is why it is right that there is also that form of transparency. An agreement with a fundamental aim to regulate the competences, especially for those sanctuaries of historical importance, where alongside the management and accessibility to pilgrims, there is also the task of pastoral service. Because the clearer the internal responsibilities are, 
the more we can work profitably for the good of the people, the local faithful, and the millions of pilgrims who arrive. Costumes, colours and moves prepared with care, all the emotion and joy of performing on a stage, on midair, on the ropes, in front of relatives and friends. You don't need to know many words in a foreign language to dance and dance well, together. What pushed the teachers of the Italian Association Dance Lab Armonia and the Arab children who participated in the summer camps between Israel and Palestine is dance and art. With them we have a great difficulty, the linguistic difficulty. They do not speak Italian and we do not speak Arabic. But thanks to our art, we can communicate. This is what we carry with us, their smiles and the ability to understand each other through art. This is the fourth year that the volunteers of this Italian association from Montecatini Terme near Florence reach the Holy Land. They do it for Armonia tra i popoli, harmony between peoples, a summer camp that they organize for children and young people between 3 and 13 years old. For example, I've been with the youngest children. We did some propedeutics, ballet. Then there was the course of hip-hop, modern. Then we do art, choreographic workshop, and we prepare the show. We are still young and it's summer, so it was normal to go to the beach. But instead, we feel that we have to come here. In only two weeks, despite the difficulties of this land, 14 young dancers were the teachers of over 200 children from Jerusalem, Bethlehem and Beit Hanina. Together they prepared for the big final show. During the show, they told about the meeting between St. Francis and the Sultan Malik al Kamel, but above all, they put on the stage the beauty of being together and friendship. Art has a superior language, a language that goes beyond all our divisions, all our walls, that manages to bring us together and make us become one.